everyone. Welcome to part three of Marietta Roy's Lost Souls Stole. In this part, we will be doing finishing rows on the stole. Make sure to check out the description box below for pattern links and additional information. Thank you for watching. Now let's get started. Row 24, forehead shell. Begin row 24 with a starting double crochet and a double crochet. Then chain three and decrease your first two a single crochet here. And that's a single crochet decrease. Then single crochet your next two stitches. Single crochet decrease the last two stitches. Chain three and shell in shell. Now we can begin a row repeat. Chain three, single crochet decrease your first two single crochet. Single crochet the next three stitches. Skip two single crochet. Single crochet the next three stitches. Single crochet decrease your last two stitches. Chain three and shell in shell. Again, row 24 repeat is chain three, single crochet decrease, single crochet three, skip two, single crochet three, single crochet decrease, chain three, and shell in shell. Repeat this all the way across your work and once we get to the end, I will meet back up again. At the end of row 24, you're just going to chain three, single crochet decrease, single crochet two, single crochet decrease, chain three, and shell in shell. Then turn to begin row 25. Row 25, forehead six, shell increase. Begin with an alternative starting double crochet and double crochet into the same space. Chain three and single crochet into your next two stitches. Then single crochet decrease. Chain three and shell increase. So you're going to shell, chain three and shell into the same space. Now we can begin a row repeat. Chain three, single crochet decrease, single crochet four, single crochet decrease, chain three, and increase shell. Again, row 25 repeat is going to be chain three, decrease, single crochet four, decrease, chain three, and shell increase. Shell, chain three, shell. Repeat this all the way down your work and at the end we can meet back up. After your last shell increase, you want to chain three, single crochet decrease, single crochet two, chain three, and two double crochet into your last stitch. Turn to begin row 26. Row 26, forehead four, shell bridge. Begin with an alternative starting double crochet, double crochet in same stitch, then chain three. Single crochet into your first single crochet, and then do a single crochet decrease. Now we can begin a row repeat. Chain three, shell bridge, shell in your first shell, chain one, slip stitch into the second chain of this chain three, chain one, and shell into your last shell, chain three, Single crochet decrease, single crochet two, 
single crochet decrease, and then we're going to repeat this all the way across our work. Again, row 26 repeat is chain three, then shell bridge. Shell into your first shell, chain one, slip stitch into the second chain, chain one, shell into your last shell, chain three, single crochet decrease, single crochet two, single crochet decrease. Repeat this all the way across your work, and once I get to the end, I will meet back up with you. At the end of row 26, you're just going to shell bridge, chain three, single crochet decrease, single crochet in your last single crochet, chain three, and two double crochet into your last stitch. Turn to begin row 27. Row 27, alternative starting double crochet into your first stitch and double crochet. Then chain one, and now we're going to do a closure stitch. The closure stitch is going to start into this same stitch here on this side, and we're going to finish it over here in this shell on this side. We're gonna skip all of these in between. Start by making a double crochet and stopping halfway with your two loops on your hook. Then yarn over again and insert your hook into the shell on the other side here. Then go ahead and do a double crochet and stop once you have these three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Chain one and double crochet into that same shell. Now we're going to begin a row repeat. Chain two, single crochet into this previous row slip stitch here. Chain two, and now we're going to do that closure stitch here. So double crochet into your first shell and chain one. Then you're just going to do that double crochet two together between these two shells here. So start with half of a double crochet into your first stitch and finish the stitch into the second shell. Then chain one and double crochet into that same shell. And then again, our row repeat is chain two, single crochet into your slip stitch, chain two, double crochet, chain one, double crochet two together, chain one, and double crochet into the same shell. Repeat that all the way across your work, and once we get to the end, I can show you how my work is looking, and we can finish. At the end of row 27, this is how my work is looking. And of course, the last thing you want to do for this row is just mirror what we did when we started. So you're just going to do that closure stitch here over this last face, the full face, and then chain two, single crochet in your slip stitch, chain two, then do your closure stitch. And it's going to start in this last shell here and it's going to end over here into the last double crochet of the work. So you're going to double crochet, chain one, double crochet two together, starting in the shell, and then ending into the last stitch of the row. Chain one and two double crochet into your last stitch. Turn to begin row 28. For row 28, you want to evenly space 201 single crochet across the top of your work. So you can just Go ahead and start off by single crocheting and place them nice and evenly and then count them when you get to the other side and make sure you have 201. If not, back out and add a few stitches or subtract a few stitches. Now for row 28, I ended up doing it three times because I couldn't get the numbers that I wanted. So what I ended up doing was this worked 
I ended up just folding my stole in half and placing a stitch marker, or in my case, a piece of yarn, right in the middle. And I made sure I had 100 stitches on one side and then 101 on the other, and it worked out great. So my row 28 is all finished, and now we can begin row 29. Row 29 is simply placing one double crochet into each one of our previous single crochet. So you should have, again, 200 and one double crochet. After this row is all finished, we can fasten off the yarn and then weave in all your ends. Well, that is all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoy making this Lost Souls Stole by Marietta Roy. Again, additional information will be held in the description box below that is in the drop down. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, liking it, sharing it with your friends, subscribing if you haven't, and have a lovely crochet day. I hope to see you again in my future tutorials.